Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to my third episode of the Crossover Wishlist. And this time we will be talking about my top 5 Crossover Wishlist from Miss Universe 2021. <laughs> Now, this is, I believe this is my last episode for the crossover wishlist for 2021. I might make one for Miss World, but I'll have to wait for the result of Miss World. But for now, let's focus on Miss Universe. Again, crossover wishlist talks about the ladies that competed in Miss Universe 2021 that I see, that I really wanted to compete again in another pageant because of their potentials. And... My main consideration here is my personal favorites and someone that I would really love to compete again. And most importantly, since pageants have their age limit requirement, I am also considering their ages when listing down my top 5 favorites. So based on those criteria, here are the top 5 ladies from Miss Universe 2021 that I would love to see competing again in another pageant. Starting with my number 5, Miss Universe Singapore. Nandita Bana, one of the best surprises in the competition and if you have followed her journey in Miss Universe Singapore where she was crowned with a longer hair and then she decided to cut her hair, turned it into a pixie haircut which really showcased her real beauty and aside from her physical beauty of course and great personality, very very likable aura and personality. One thing that I really love about her is that she's also one of the best speakers in the competition and we have witnessed that when she have that when she had that interview with Steve Harvey when she was called in the first cut and also let's be honest here in a way her walk is not one of the strongest let's be honest about that and that's the reason why she was eliminated after the swimsuit competition so I really wanted to focus more on what she can offer which is her strength in public speaking so I really hope that if ever she'll try again and compete in another pageant she needs to work on her walk too so if ever she'll compete again the pageant where I think she could do well are Miss Earth I feel like she, I'm, I'm not really sure when, when it comes I'm not really sure about her advocacy when it comes to environmental advocacies if she ha if she is focusing her attention on that or maybe she has a different advocacy I haven't really researched about it that much but if ever she is passionate about these environmental advocacies I feel like she could be perfect for Miss Earth I feel like she could give Singapore a placement in Miss Earth but I also wanted her to go to Miss World I feel like she could also bring honor for Singapore in Miss World because we all know that Miss World loves girls who speaks very well, someone who is naturally spe natural speakers and naturally good. And I feel like Singapore has so much to offer if ever she'll go and compete in Miss World. My number four goes to Miss Universe Spain, Sara Luinas. She's only 23 years old when she competed last year. And unfortunately, she did not make it in the first cut of Miss Universe. But that's okay because it, I, I, we don't really have to look at their past performances. Because when a, when a contestant decided to compete again in another pageant, then that's a, that's, a, that's a whole competition. That's a different competition. So I really wanted Spain to redeem herself in another pageant because we have seen how amazing she is. She is our Miss El Tocuyo because many of us really expected that she will be called in the first cut. But unfortunately, many of us were shocked that she did not made it in. So if ever she'll try again and compete in another pageant, I would strongly suggest Miss Grand International because I feel like her strength in runway could really work in there. And I would also suggest Miss Supernational because I think that is also perfect for her when it comes to her runway performances and her speaking skills at the same time. My number three goes to Miss Universe Vietnam. Nguyen Hoin Kim Do Yen. She's 25 years old when she competed last year and she finished in the top 16. I love her. One of the strong... I, I, I really thought that she would go as far as top 10 because I feel like she's got one of the strongest runway performances during the preliminaries and even during the finale competition although I feel like her preliminary was much stronger 
compared to what we saw during the finals, I still feel that she has the potential to do much, much better when it comes to those competitions. So having said that, based on everything that we have seen from Vietnam, I feel like she would be perfect for Miss Supranational. I feel like she could really bring Vietnam into at least top 10 if she goes to Miss Supranational. Also, this is just my thoughts, but I feel like she would also do well in Miss Earth. Especially with her beauty, her natural charisma and charm. I think it's really, it really reflects the Miss Earth prototype that we're looking for. Me number two goes to Miss Universe Puerto Rico, Michelle Maricolon. She was only 21 years old. She's very, very young and she finished in the top 10. One of our favorites and many have Puerto Rico in the top five and we were all shocked when she did not make it. And one of the best performers, although we have to admit that her evening gown performance was a little bit too much. And I really, what I meant by a little bit too much is she was overdoing her walk during that round. So after watching her performance at that time, so I kind of accepted right away that she did not make it in. And having said that, I feel like her performance would perfectly fit Miss Grand International. Simply because Miss Grand International love all these kind of exaggerated runway performances. I mean, with those with a lot of movements, but clean in a way. So I feel like Michelle could deliver in that category. So that's why I'm seeing her doing well in Miss Grand International. Also, she's a strong speaker and I feel like Miss Grand International organization would appreciate her. Also, Miss Supernational, I feel like she could also do well if she goes to Miss Supernational. And finally, the woman that we really wanted to see compete again is Miss Universe Paraguay. Nadia Ferreira, she was only 22 years old, still very young. She finished as first runner-up in Miss Universe. Although, honestly, I feel like finishing, even if you didn't win Miss Universe, I feel like finishing as first runner-up in Miss Universe is like, you have already reached the highest, the peak. I mean, you have nothing to prove anymore. But just because I am a fan and I would love to see Nadia with an international crown, I'm still having this wish list that if she could go and compete again in another pageant and let's be honest here i can see nadia dominating whether she'll compete in miss grand international or miss supranational miss earth miss international or miss world any of these five pageants she will dominate she would do well and it's either she will be in the final two or win the crown because i feel like she's just so good She's so good. It, it just so happened that Harnaz was flawless, was just flawless during the finale night and Harnaz won it, no doubt. That's, I, but I also feel like Nadia deserves an, an international crown as well. So I am not sure if she will try and compete again in another, in another, in another, in another pageant, but if ever she does try again, we will be supporting her. And if she does, she will be the favorite for the crown once again. So that's it. These are my top five wish list for crossover wish list for Miss Universe 2021. So who are your favorites? Who among the five ladies that I mentioned that you wanted to see and compete again in a different pageant? And who are the ladies that I did not mention but you think has the potentials to do well? if they compete again. So don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.